Hey everybody, welcome back to Passing Money. I'm Kirby. That's Alex over there. Uh, we're gonna try to do a little series today. We, I mean, we're gonna go do like a five part series and go over the topic from a guy on Twitter called the Wealth Coach. Right here, uh, there's his handle on Twitter. Follow him if you like. Um, but he brings up a good thing: five things he wish he known uh, about money at 20 years old. And then today we're gonna ta tackle the first one: time. Time is money, or time is greater than money however he wanted to phrase it here. And then we're just going to go through each topic one by one. But today is time and money. Uh, so Alex, I'll let you start it off before I go on my rant of future. But <laughs> go ahead. Um, I think time, it, yeah, it's, it's a weird one because you can say time is greater than money, but I would hate to live a life of 120 years broke. So, you know, but time, I would say, is goes with money or some will say time is money i think money can buy you freedom which buys you time and i think so i think that's the importance of using money to get time because most people don't realize when you just have a day job eight hours a day for 40 years you've wasted i'm not even going to try and do the math but thousands tens of thousands of hours you know, just working for the same job for 40 years and you can never go and do whatever you want. It's a different thing when you have passive income, as we say, or assets that cover your lifestyle. And so when you wake up, you can decide to do whatever you want. You don't have to go and report to somebody or be on a clock or be on a schedule. Um, now, if you are if you're if you own your own businesses and assets, you might be busy, but it's with your own development and you can put people in place to manage those assets. Um, but I that was the biggest motivator for me is how do I change my life to where I don't have to report to a boss and I can live however I want. I can wake up and like uh you were saying one day, like you you had told me this a couple of years ago, but you said like I would get to a point where you like say I'll wake up or you'll wake up and you'll just be like, let's just go to like to this country or to this state, like without even having a plan for it. Like most people are planning like for like, like I've heard some people plan like four years ahead for a vacation. I'm like, what? Like that's, that's insane. Like I can't imagine actually having to like put pennies away for four straight years just to have like one week of, you know, traveling or whatever. Like, it should be just deciding to do it. like and we we both know uh Chris same person but uh he had told me one time you just like stood up and you're like I want to go to Russia and then he was like and Kirby went to Russia the next week <laughs> like you know it's like you you have the time to do whatever you want because of the assets that provide that lifestyle but that's my point and and to the wealth coast point I'm a thing cuz I mean as you see up there he got the time is greater than money I'm gonna give them the benefit of the doubt. Um, I, I think the symbol is incorrect because time equals money. And what I mean by that, and you said it eloquently that the you have to buy your time back. You can't just say, oh, well, time's more important than money. I'm just gonna do what I wanna do because I wanna spend my time, but you don't have any money. And with buying your time back, that means you gotta put in the grind early. You got to put in the, the grind early. I mean, I know what he's saying that everybody in their 20s, they just think, oh, I got to get a lot of money. I got to get a lot of money. I got to get a lot of money. And they, they focus on getting the money, partying, partying in the bullshit. That's what I call it, partying in the bullshit. I did it also. And they don't realize that you don't wasted all this time to get the money to guarantee you can do what you're doing in your 20s for a long period of time. So you got to, you got to work to grind and the best time to work to grind is in that 20, 30 time frame. Work to grind to start building assets to get your time back. Because if you're living on that paycheck to paycheck cycle, you will never have your time back. You will always be working, working for uh, the man. And, and it's really not, they're not working. Let's get it. Let's get a baseline understanding. People are not working because they like their job. People are not working because they like their boss. They like their coworkers. P 
People are working because of one reason, to pay debt. So that whole borrower is slave to the lender, that's what it is. I mean, that's what they're doing. They working to continue making that car payment, continue making that house payment, to continue making, is rent center still around these days? <laughs> but you know, those monthly payments for furniture and all that other crap. That's what people are working for. I mean, because if it was just, okay, I got a place to live, or let's just say, this for instance, uh, your great-great-grandfather bought a big house and it was paid off, and then you could just stay there. You wouldn't work nowhere near as hard. Well, you would because you're crazy, but most people won't work nowhere near as hard to, and you know, it's a paid off car and all that. People won't work near as hard to, and be slaving 40, 50, 60 hours a week just to get back. So the time, the time and the elements that people, uh, the time is the thing that they need to sacrifice more on in the beginning. They need to spend more time making money. So they can have more money to get all the time back in their life. And that's really what I think he was trying to say. I mean, I think it was just a, I don't, you know, I don't, I'm not too familiar with Twitter. So I don't know if he's saying time is greater than money, but I think he's saying time is money. And you need the, you need, so to get your time back, you need to pay for it back. But the only way you can pay for it back, if you have the money sitting there and have continuous flows of money coming in, without spending your time to get your time back. So I hope I confused everybody with that, with my crazy explanation with time and money. I'll look back to you. Yeah, no, nah, um, I see uh, people say like my age where they always say, and a lot of people hear this, but um, you got to travel now because how do you, why do you want to travel when you're old? But the people that don't have their finances right, right now, um, just think about it. And I've and you see it with some of the older people say in their late 50s, 60s that are approaching retirement, where they did a lot of traveling in their youth and they blew all that money and now they're approaching retirement and they can't retire. So you have to have mm -hmm. something figured out. Right. So you can either do that where you go travel and you blow all your money, you have all the fun in your life when you're young, and then you have no money and you have to work until you die. Or you don't do any of that and you work, 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 save your money all the way up until 65 and then you can travel for like 10 years and then you die, which you're going to be old anyway, or just work hard as hell for 10 years, buy assets only with your money and then you're set for the rest of your life. Like, so, and that's my point. If you work from 18 to 30, 12 years and you give it your all 100%, no excuses, you just execute and you purchase assets that will set you up for your life. I mean, I'm going on year, technically year three with this, you know, actually buying true assets. And I'm already seeing results. I can only imagine another six, 10 years from now, how many I'll have and how much time that would provide me. So people just have to switch their, they, they, they can't emotionally detach themselves from wanting, you know, those things or those or to travel right then and there they just and that's that's a downfall of the youth i think is they just they're so desperate to just like, gratification huh it's in gratification exactly they're so desperate to show everybody what they're doing and where they go and the things they're buying and it doesn't matter it's like no one's no one's gonna think about it a month for, a month later you know it doesn't matter at all so no, I mean at, at the funeral they ain't gonna be like, oh, I remember that trip we went on when we were twenty. They're gonna be sitting there looking like yeah. they're gonna be looking like, why are they in a pine box? They can't afford nothing. That's what they go. That's what yeah. that's what the conversation's gonna be. Yeah, exactly. It's people just you have to let go of that instant gratification and you have to realize what's most important. And it's more it's more so than just like you buy assets so you can travel and buy whatever you want. It's you buy assets so that you can set your life up however you want. People that want a family, if you have assets, guess what? If you don't like the school system, you can choose to put your kids in a either a better school or you homeschool them. You teach them how you want them to be raised and taught. I know that's a big issue today, people with the school system and all that. Um, you can spend more time with your family if that's what you want. 
um, it, it's more so than just buying cars and stuff. It's you have time to do whatever you want in your life. And and one part, and and like I said, it's it's a scale of it. It's a scale, like you said, when you're 20, you start you start spend you start buying assets. You know, when you first buy your first asset, you you're not going to buy a Lamborghini, but the cash flow that's coming off that asset, you know, after all expenses is paid, if you, you know, of course you're going to start setting money aside to buy the next asset, but maybe it's kicking you off an extra $100, $200 a month. That might give you the uh, the ability so you don't have to work all those over hours of overtime. So now that's, you're getting your time back. So now, so now it, it means you could pay work less overtime. So you get your next asset. Now you can work less overtime. Then you start key building assets. Then it then it becomes optional if, if you even got to work a 40 hour work week. And then you have an option of, hey, I make enough money off of my assets that cover more than what I make at a nine to five job. Then you have the option. That don't mean you have to quit, but you have the option to do it. That's where it's all about getting time is your ability to have the option more. 99% of the people in America don't have an option at all. They have to keep going to work because they have to keep paying a car payment because they have to keep paying mortgages to survive, you know, paying for kids, private schools and all that. They have to. But when you have the option, then the, it, the world's a whole different place. You don't look at work like, oh, my God, I hope they don't fire me this week. You walk in, I hope they, I wish they would fire me today. Because you know you have, you know, you go going to work a little different. I'm trying to tell you, you start feeling yourself when you don't need that, you don't need that, uh, that W-2 9 to 5 money. But you but you have the option. Is it okay to stay working and keep making the money? Yes. But it's always good to have an option. And for most people in the United States and around the world, they family generations, their family legacy, they never had the option. That's what you're trying to get to, changing your family tree, just given that option, just having the option to do it. Now, what you choose to do with it is on you. I'm with you 100%. But that's what money gives you, the option to do what you want to do with your time because you only have one life. But you can spend your life working till you're 65 and you're going to realize Social Security don't cover your rent payments and all that. Then you're going to be working for 85, probably be greeting people at you know the stores and then you go from working to die. You just wasted 85 years for what? With all that being said, this is a great topic. Uh, thanks to, again to the financial coach, I believe his name on Twitter. I think it's uh, the wealth coach, sorry, the wealth coach. So um, thanks for the wealth coach for this topic, giving us content to create, and we'll see you in the next video.